So Magnum is still going strong, and I'm still really enjoying this, even without the mustache. Welcome to the heart of the stories we tell. My name is Rob, and tonight I will be reviewing... Four. Six paintings, one frame. And of course, you know that, you know, the frame isn't a picture frame. Alright, so Magnum isn't just a private eye. He's also a security consultant. Which, remember, is why he gets to stay at Robin's glacially huge estate, because that's what he does there. So we get to see him do that here. I'm hesitant to say that he never did this back in the old series, but I don't remember it. I remember the cover story of being the security consultant being just that. So, I'm kind of impressed. This was a good idea, and one that, if I'm right about it never coming up in the original Magnum, probably should have. Overall, I still question where Robin got his fortune, but I'm starting to think it's not just from writing his books. Last week, we were introduced to a new side character who does tours of the estate, and I'm wondering if that's not going to come in more down the line. Overall, I still think this series is going strong and is going to be one of those ones that's going to be a breakout hit in the next couple of episodes, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. In the meantime, oh wait, for those of you that don't know what I do here, what I do is I review stories like this as they come out, and I come up with theories of storytelling, how and why we tell stories. Well, if you're interested in doing that, click subscribe, join my channel, and let's take a look at what's going on with Magnum. Now, without getting too spoilery, and talking about only previous episodes, I have to say... You would not be too out of place thinking that this episode was starting in one of Robin's books, but it's not. I do kind of laugh at the fact that almost right away we once again have Higgins, though, showing up to help. And it's one of those things where they're obviously going for the love connection there. And that's fine when it comes to Higgins in tonight's episode, and I like that too. But I guess in order to discuss this, we're going to need to throw this up there. So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. So Double O Magnum needs to break in during a big party. And you know what? They do a great job of hanging a lampshade on why you have to do it this way. They do a great job of the entire making you want to believe that it's the most reasonable way to steal it. Right down to having the MI6, ex-MI6 agent say it's how she would have done it. Of course, there's like a hundred easier ways to steal that art. But of course, this also goes with the frame job. Magnum gets framed because the exact same way he showcases that you could steal is done, except it's done with a murder. And then that leads us into the case, and bam, we hit the ground running. I also love the fact that TC and Rick are all like, yet yeah, look, we're booked solid. We can't just drop everything every time you have a case. We can't always be backing you. And when you think about it, that's much more realistic than most shows like this are. On the other hand, of course, that doesn't last, because once he points out exactly how bad and important it is, and the fact that it's a friend of Robin's, which did kind of hint at the fact that maybe, just maybe, we get to meet Robin, boom, they're in. And all right. Then, of course, like every other episode of this show, it's high octane. Every commercial break ends with a big, ooh, what's going to happen next? Starting with the guy who they think might be involved. Magnum finding him dead. And then the, for the next commercial break, oh, look at that. They've got a search warrant. And hey, look at that. Remember that supporting cast member I mentioned up top? The one who I said probably was going to play into more of the why Robin's got money type thing? Or at least more of the Robin story? She's back. And they've got a search warrant for Robin's house. And I can only imagine it would take the Hawaii PD for something in the neighborhood of three weeks to search this place. I will also say that I really liked the fact that our new detective, we're still questioning Magnum, did seem to go to bat for him. I even liked the entire exchange where Magnum was all like, because there's no cuffs, I'm not under arrest. And according to the great state of Hawaii, that means I can go. This is a voluntary interview. That's one of those things you don't see a lot on TV. You see the police getting to kind of bully people a lot. you got to be careful about that. Especially in a world where police bullying is a big issue. 
Overall, the whole cast, as usual, came through pretty big. The TC jokes about being an art fan and being in dance class were a little meh. But other than that, I do think they could have used Rick and TC more. I did like the fact that in the end, Magnum got to prove that he was smart and that he had accidentally picked out the painting that was worth the most money, which is kind of funny. His knowledge of the color blue, which because it was for a football team or a baseball team or something, totally was great. I wasn't too big of a fan of the absolute end, though. Ending on a funeral was a great bookend to the first episode, but I really hate that whole trope of a guy can't tie his own tie so the woman has to. But, all in all, what did you guys think? I'm really loving this show. I think that it brings the action, it brings the suspense, and in general it's pretty good. Also, while you're leaving me that comment, if you could like and share, and of course, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. I'd like to give a big thank you to everyone supporting me on Patreon, especially at the $5 tier, Douglas. Big thanks, man. If any of the rest of you wish to, I have a couple of tiers out there for you to join to. And if you can't, well, just leave a comment. Joining the community is as big of a help as sending money. Either way, it helps grow the channel and get us a little closer to finding the heart of the stories we tell. For now, I hope you have a good night, and thanks for watching.